As the sun shines on all of my glory My flaws don't look so bad at all What was I so afraid of? Hey everybody, it's Charmelle. Welcome or welcome back to Lox Lux Lifestyle. So today we are back with another styling video for men and I'm going to be doing some Nipsey Hustle slash Pop Smoke inspired braids. So let's get into it. So I already washed his hair off camera. Um, it air dried for a little bit so I'm just going in with a water bottle to kind of mist it and dampen it up a little bit. And then I'm going to use some black Jamaican castor oil as well as some Talia Waheed oil. And I'm just going to run all of that through his hair just to make sure it's hydrated and moisturized before we start retwisting. And now we're going to move over to the retwisting process. So for retwisting, I usually switch off between like two different products. So I'll either use my Natural Elegance Locked Up Retwisting Cream or I will use some aloe vera gel. And I kind of switch between the two. So mainly like in the back of his head, I'll probably stick with like the aloe vera gel just because it's lighter. Um, and he really doesn't need like that strong of a hold but as I get to the top of his hair and I want it to look you know neater the part that's going to be out more after we do this style I'll use the locked up just because it has a better hold and it makes the parts in the retwist and everything look a lot neater but when it comes to retwisting it's always preference um, depending on what kind of style he gets sometimes I'll use oil only but for this particular style I wanted something that was going to give him some more hold so yes, these are the pro products that I'm using and I'm using this retwisting comb and I usually just retwist the roots of his hair and if he has any flyaways or anything, I'll kind of do like the locksmith method or I'll just kind of wrap any stringy pieces around his locks and yeah, I have several videos of me retwisting his hair, um, so pretty much doing the same process. And then when I get to the top of his hair, as you'll see, I kind of leave his hairline out a little bit just because he likes to get that lined when he gets a haircut, but it's, again, that's preference. So I could have gathered and swooped all that hair together, but I'm just leaving um, his edges out so he can get that lined when he gets his haircut afterwards. And this is how his hair looks after we finish retwisting. So now I'm just going to tie him up and put him under the dryer for about 45 minutes to an hour um, until his hair is dry. And 
and then once he's dry I'm going to remove that paper remove the clips and then we're going to move on to the styling portion So again, we are doing the Nipsey Hussle Pop Smoke um, corn roll braided style. So you basically have a part down the middle and then um, corn rolls on going down each side and in the back. So he wanted seven braids. So what I'm going to do first before I actually start corn rolling, his hair is sectioning off the hair for each braid. So, so the amount of locks per corn roll is going to vary depending on your head or the person's hair, whoever's head. It's gonna depend, gonna vary depending on how many locks the person has in his their hair. But I do recommend sectioning it off first before you start corn rolling, just so you have a guide and you don't have to undo any areas um, if it's not enough locks or one braid has less locks or you get what I'm saying. So yes, now I'm going to start corn rolling his hair and. Basically, the way I do it is um, before I grab a lock, I always make sure to um, give it a little twist to make sure I'm not untwisting it as I'm corn rolling it. So when I retwist this hair, I retwist them all clockwise and I basically just give each lock a little twist in the clockwise direction just to make sure that his retwist, I'm not undoing it as I corn roll. That was a little wordy, so hopefully it makes sense, but that's what I'm doing. And then I'm going to braid down as far as I can go. And then any like little extra locks hanging at the bottom, I'm just going to use a rubber band and tuck those um, and fold the ends up so that, you know, all those little loose locks are tucked and out of the way and neat. And then I'm going to just repeat that same process for the other braids that I sectioned off. And then lastly, I'm just going to take some setting foam. This is the Cream of Nature Argon Oil Foam, and I'm low, I need to replace it. But yes, I'm just gonna apply some of that throughout his hair, and then I'm going to tie it down again and set him under the dryer for like another 10, 15 minutes. And that is going to be pretty much it. Sorry you guys, I don't have like a good outro clip because his haircut appointment wasn't for another two days. But here is his hair a few days later um, after he got his hair cut. Um, he had his hair tied down, so some of the braids in the back are kind of bent because he had his wave cap on. But this is the hairstyle. He liked it. Um, this will typically last him at least like a month. If he wanted to go longer, he probably could. But usually when I do his styles and I do braided styles, they last for at least a month. So this is the final look. I hope you all enjoyed don't forget to like share comment and subscribe follow me on instagram snatched by charmel and i will see you all in my next video bye